everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. The Earth is a rockin' after that X flare we had late yesterday. Um, next one point two. Right afterwards, there was um, two M flares. Let's see, an M three point three eight, a M one point four nine. Um, there was also a C9.28, um, a C6, a C4, and a C1.35. I've talked about how solar flares do affect our Earth. Um, they create earthquakes. Um, sometimes if a volcano is ready to erupt, it would erupt. Affects people's health and mood. We don't need that. There's more cases of road rage during solar flares and with all the political unrest we don't need that there's talk that uh, the US is going to uh, help with the invasion of Iran there was a video for some some soldiers eating what was described as their last meal eating steak and lobster tails um, yeah so evidently we are probably going to go in and we don't need that but X flares do create, yeah, you know, mood swings, <laughs> anxiety, um, high blood pressure, etc. Here on Earth, along with earthquakes, there's been three magnitude five or larger earthquake since this um, X one point two seven. The largest was a magnitude five point eight off the coast of Mexico. A 5.4 off the coast of El Salvador. Yeah, this was a thrust earthquake. The 5.8 was also a thrust earthquake. And a 5.2 in the Fiji region. The Railroad Commission there in Texas has ordered the shutdown. I'll talk more about that um, in my next video. For the oil and gas production because of recent earthquakes. So they have a 15-day shutdown there in Texas. So the first one, which was by El Parmacito, um, a 5.8. I'm going to talk about that one first. Right down here. Let me get a little bit closer. A lot of earthquakes back in 2023 in this location. This area of Chiapas, Mexico, lies in a seismically active region near the boundary between the North American plate and the Cocos plate where uh, the Cocos plate subducts beneath um, the uh, South American plate. It moves about 2.4 inches per year or 67 millimeters. This subduction zone along with numerous local fa faults contribute to earthquakes in the area. They've got a lot of them. You can see Back in 2023, there was a 6.3 and a 5.2. Now, this 5.8 earthquake struck 115 kilometers south of El um, Parchamido. Sorry for pronouncing that wrong. Um, that would be a little more than 71 miles. It had a depth of 10 kilometers. Someone asked me about why there were so many earthquakes at 10 kilometers or about six miles. They do that when they're not sure about the depth. To get the accurate accurate depth, they need to what they call triangulate the earthquake and they don't have monitors out in the waters. So they're just guessing. This is also close to the Middle American Trench, which I got drawn out in red, but you can see the different shading here. Yeah, that's the Middle American Trench. I don't think there's any tsunami warning, but you can see there is a lack of voice uh, to register if there was a tsunami in this location. Blue is uh, where there is tension applied. And you can see by the shape here, this was a thrust earthquake where basically one side of the fault um, drops down and the other side generally, mostly, um, stays in position. Pressure is going towards the northeast, it looks like. Uh, a shake alert might have gone out 
and if it did it was just for the coastal areas they actually have the intensity level for the different circles here we got five for the center uh, four for the outside intensity level three it looks like uh, for along the coast so that would have been just some light shaking now the magnitude 5.4 has more reports that were sent into USGS 12 people said they felt it and again this was a thrust earthquake blue is compression and tension would be applied going in that location the first wave of the earthquake actually came um, from you know out there in the ocean southwest here are some of the reports that were sent into EMSC uh, the first one it says very strong and prolonged in San Miguel um, another one I felt it shake the trees um, strong and long movement of the bay was big and hard for almost 20 seconds so they must have been along the coast I assume the next one said it felt strong in Santa um, Telco and no damage reported but that was 278 kilometers southeast so that would be about 172 miles uh, the closest was um, 53 kilometers northeast um, that would be about 32 miles and they said it was very strong and prolonged in San Miguel so using Google Earth we'll go to the location of that earthquake yeah along the, yeah, the middle American trench that's the location of the 5.4 and we'll bring it out yeah there was also a 5.0 I reported that I believe and I did a report uh, back on uh, the 22nd of last month and it looks like the largest most recent um, was a, um, a 6.8 in 2023 we also have I did a report on this one too I know um, a 6.2 now that one was back on January of this year January 5th and then there was a magnitude 5.2 near Fiji and we'll go to that location there's going to be more earthquakes we still have a, a chance of more X flares um, there's a um, I believe a 10% chance within the next few days of an X flare now originally they said um, there was a 30% chance of an X flare before this X 1.2 uh, 4 occurred and again this is all because of subduction this area here um, subduction of the Pacific plate um, going down then it comes back up some real deep earthquakes usually happen in this location and it forms islands when the uh, magma comes back up but you can see yeah this is another very seismic um, yeah very active area so I'm going to do a, a video about the uh, oil, oil and gas production that was shut down there in Texas for 15 days got to put that data all together but yeah I expect more earthquakes in some diverse places yeah and expect more trouble around the world um, we got sleeper cells that have probably been activated yeah people's moods are very tense right now because of this X flare and besides you know um, moods health effects you know high blood pressure women sometimes go into early labor that are pregnant so don't overdo it if you're doing things that are very active don't want to have a heart attack please sub subscribe please thumbs up my videos it would help with the ranking if you want to support my work yeah just um, subscribe and as always be prepared for a disaster please stay safe and I will talk to you later God bless you bye